Okay, everybody. We've got the mighty VMAX 600 here in the shop today. We got a kit for it. These two metal plates and some bolts and sort of some instructions. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually a lift kit for the Mighty VMAX. But uh, the newer styles, you can see a lot more of the track because the back end is raised up so much. And I think it looks cooler, but supposedly it actually helps with, it says right here, it says, Yamaha VMAX snowmobiles are excellent snowmobiles, but the rear suspension is very low to the ground. Adding drop brackets is the simple answer. Immediately, you will notice major difference in appearance and handling. The steering is much more responsive and the deep snow performance will dramatically improve. So, um, I don't know, dad got this. Seems like forever ago. But uh, yeah, it's just gonna lift it up. What are you, is that like three inches? And yeah. So I think it'll look cooler and hopefully it'll perform better, but supposedly it's pretty easy. Uh, we'll have to jack it up, obviously. But three, these three bolts right here, one, two, three, um, is what's holding the, what, the suspension? Yeah, that's what I don't know. But you take these three bolts out and then uh, the track will drop. I'll just show you when we do it. But anyways, this, these will bolt into those and then that will bolt into here, lifting it up about, I don't know, three inches. If that makes any sense. <laughs> but yeah, we haven't even got to ride this thing yet this year. But we're hopeful that we're gonna be able to. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. We don't really know how we're gonna do it yet, but come along, we'll figure it out together. <laughs> All right, let's do it. First, we gotta jack it up, get it off the ground. And just have Cannon hold it while I work on it. <laughs> She's kind of falling apart, but. I think she's still beautiful. There we go. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so it's definitely gonna be easier to work on it if it's not on the skid. So Karen's gonna try to pick it up and move it over and then we'll jack it up sort of try. half on, half off. Yeah, we'll try. <gasps> Stop it. <gasps> Yeah, buddy! Wait, be careful. Watch your skis. Okay, how far off are you? Oh. Try number two. Lift with the legs, not the back. Come on. It's not turning, damn it. That's how you do it right there. The new logo merch is ready and up on the website. Uh, I'll show you a few of the pieces. So very similar to our last logo merch, except the front is different. It just has um, the outline of our logo on the front. And then the full logo on the back comes in black. And then it also comes in gray. I'm wearing this one. And also in the black comes a zip up. I know you guys really liked the zip ups the last time, so we got more of those. And those are available in black, just the same design. T-shirts, so we have a Heather navy blue with that same logo on the front and the same design on the back. And then we also have a heathered red with that same logo on the front and that same design on the back. They also have YouTube here on the sleeve on both the t-shirts and the sweatshirts. Hats. So we got these two colors right here. One's a gray with red and one's like a olive green color with gold and they both say Harm Farm. So we have those available as well. I'll have Cannon put one on to show you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Copper hat. Woo! All right. So, there it is. It's available right now on harmlessfarmer.com. So if you're interested, head on over and get you a sweatshirt, a zip up, a t-shirt, or a hat. Thanks.
Jack number two for the track. Now just get it to where it's, yeah. All right, 12 millimeters. Ingersoll? Yeah. All right, buzzer off, baby. Oh, just like that. I don't think they snapped. No, they did not. Don't even get me started. Give me that. It's always nice when stuff comes out like it's supposed to. Okay, now since we got these out, we should be able to lower that jack. Drop her down. Oh, here she comes. Hear it? Yeah, it's all crusty in there. It needs to come all the way down so we can get that plate in. Down, down, down. Oh my gosh, it looks cooler already. All right. There she blows. This thing's freaking easy. <laughs> it's gonna look mean. <laughs> now we just need some snow. Yeah, literally. Dude, I just like how you can see the track. Uh-huh. Like That's that cool. just makes it look cooler. Shoot. She just her value just went up about <laughs> thousand bucks. <laughs> three bolts and a bracket. <laughs> it came with three new bolts for each plate. Yeah, the new bolts are for the top. And they came with lock nuts. But yeah. yeah, that's the bracket. Goes up in. Us. These will be the holes. The old bolts go back in there. Yeah, these ones, old ones. And then the new ones will be up here on these. So that's about right where it's at right now. That's how low it's going It might be. even need to be lowered a bit, a little bit. Woo! Uh-huh, yep, that's right. Just jack it. Just drag it. Alright, let's do something. Oh yeah, that looks nice. So the bolt goes through, then the washer, then the nut. Okay. Why is it so off? What are we doing wrong here? Don't do too much. I don't understand. I'm confused. Can you just take the middle bolt out? Yeah. No, I'm not going to be able to. It says to put those in first, which I get it. Because it's going to be hard to see the holes. Yeah. Makes sense. It's almost like, should we be lifting up on that? Oh, there's that one. Oh, shoot, where are the other ones? Oh, wait. That's probably the closest we've had it yet. I think I can get one more in. Then hopefully if we drop it, that one will free up. See, because it's right on. It's just. Oh. I can see it. Got it. There we go. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna tighten these up a little bit. Well, I think it's gonna be cool, y'all. I think it's gonna be cool. And this is a what? 13. 13's, good.
how easy the other side will be. <laughs> Hopefully. Not too shabby. Gotta relax and renew. Scott, look! Do you see that big old spider coming out of that thing? I can't move, I can't get that. What do you want me to do? I can't get that. <laughs> All right. Okay, three top ones are in. Now the tricky part. <laughs> Cause if I go like that, everything's where it needs to be. Okay, then get that one, hold it right there with your hand and then get that one started. Oh, okay. And the top one, I think. Oh yeah, buddy. I'm sweating. <laughs> that sounds weak. It's definitely not the anger saw. Okay. Snug up these bottom ones before we forget. Okay. Alright, here we go. Watch your tootsies. Yeah. Oh no. We're gonna have to adjust the whole thing. Yeah, because this came off. Alright, try again. It already looks pretty cool. I can see right through it. There we go. Nice. Oh, shit, it's raining. Oh, no, can. Looks pretty cool. What's it look like after somebody sits? Cannon. Well, it did go down a lot. <laughs> Nelly, what do you guys think? Comment down below. <laughs> I think it's basically now like a 05, basically. Basically now a 2023. <laughs> yeah, we're going to supercharge it next. I don't know about that, but I actually want to wrap it. I've been wanting to wrap it for like a while and I think that'd be fun. I think I'd be pretty good at it. I think it. it'd be hard to wrap this. I think it'd be easy. I think I could wrap it. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it would look sweet if it was wrapped in like pink tie-dye. <laughs> well, everybody, what do we think? I think it looks sweet. I think it looks really cool. You can like see right through it. <laughs> you should be filming me filming this. Look at her like this. <laughs> If you're looking to do it yourself and you got a 94 to a 96 VMAX, it's a drop bracket lift kit. Put this on the video. Put this on the video. It does look cool with the uh, smoke.